words take wings. May 15, 1918. And in the nation's capital, U.S. mail heads for its first trip by air. The load is 136 pounds. Destination, the city of New York. President Wilson adds prestige and a letter to the event and chats with pilot G.L. Boyle. Boyle is off, but he follows the wrong railroad tracks and 25 miles south of Washington cracks up. At Belmont Park, New York, May 15th, Postmaster Thomas Patton hands 144 pounds of mail for Washington to pilot Tory Webb, destined to do better than Boyle. Patton commemorates the occasion with a send-off speech. On display are the first stamps for U.S. mail by air, and into the air goes the first airmail plane to complete a scheduled flight. An hour later, at Bustleton, the Philadelphia terminus, Webb lands for refueling, and the first hop is finished. Mechanics check the ship for necessary overhauling and find it undamaged. With pilot J.C. Edgerton at the controls, the mail wings its way to Washington. Here is the completion of a 218-mile journey by air, the first of its kind in America. Edgerton and the mail come through. July 1924, and over San Francisco, the first transcontinental airmail reaches its destination. In planes flimsy as postcards, U.S. pilots span the nation in short hop relays, and an inspired nation applauds these brave pioneers. Here's Bert Acosta, celebrating with Eddie Rickenbacker and friends. The post office, Dallas, 1926. First airmail from Texas gets a rapid stamping and heads for the plane and Chicago. Here is pilot Herbert Kindred. For the first time, mail from the cattle country wings toward the Windy City. Airmail spans the sea. From Miami, a flying boat arrives at Panama, February 13, 1929, at the end of airmail's first flight over open water. The pilot is Lindy, just two years after his history-making hop of the Atlantic. Yes, it's Colonel Charles A. Lindbergh, doing new wonders with wings. 